right what is up everyone welcome back Aeneas here uh if it ain't broke don't fix it right uh so today we're playing some more good old Demir uh I thought about trying to brew some new deck some making new new things but um you know missing a few wild cards didn't want to waste you know my wild cards when it's like the last week of the season pretty much uh so Let's just play some decks that I really love and enjoy and are doing well for me. So let's play the Demir deck again uh, that I finally got working in the other video. And it's been working great for me. Uh, I have, yeah, I would say close to a 70% win rate, um, which is very respectable. Good for climbing. Um, if you have anything lower than like a 60%, you can technically get to mythic but it's gonna be a very very slow grind very hard to get there so anything that for me has like about 65 percent win rate or more uh yeah that's good enough to get you to mythic and it's good for laddering so uh this one has been doing it for me the esper one i played in my previous video that's been doing good for me um i went on a nice win streak with that one recently so um that one i can recommend as ranking uh, good for ranking. But um, yeah, let's play some more Demir. It's my favorite colors. Uh, and it's very rarely ever good. So the fact that it's doing okay in this meta, uh, yeah, makes me happy. So let's check it out. Um, the deck, if you didn't see my other video, you should check that one out. But if you didn't see it, basically, you get Teferi is your win con, Invoke Despair, also kind of your win con, kind of removal. And the rest of the deck is typical Demir style, where you're drawing cards, you're killing stuff, maybe you're countering a few things, um, and you're just trying to remove all the opponent's threats so that you can win the game with your big win con at the end. Um, so yeah, we, we've got Go for the Throat to kill Shieldred, we've got Cut Down for all the aggro decks, we got uh, Path of Peril and Drag to the Bottom for the Mono Red, Mono White, um, Azorius decks. Uh, the drag to the bottom can hit bigger things like Shieldred in the mono black deck, so it's good for that as well. And then just a bunch of draw because Teferi wants you to draw cards. So late game, get down Teferi, cast Invoke, draw cards, Teferi gets big, token gets big, and you win the game. Yeah, so get big, win game. That's That's the secret of the deck. Yeah, pretty straightforward, um, very fun. Killing stuff for me is always fun, so uh, I love it. Anyway, yeah, let's get into some games and see how we do today. Okay, so we go second, and we have a sweeper, a removal, a draw, and a negate, and all our lands. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's about as good of a hand you can you can hope for. Um, see a planes might be an aggressive deck. Or it could be the big white deck. Ooh, white red is probably the ramp. So yeah, might be kind of like that big red, big white deck splash red. Um, I guess we'll just play the swamp, and we can either negate or indulgence on their turn, whichever one we need. I guess we're negating a fable. Um, alternatively, we could hold a negate for the reanimation spell later, which might be worth it. This does slow them down though if I do this. Hmm. That is tough, because this fable like turns on everything, their discard and whatnot. So I, I think I should negate this. It's gonna slow them down a lot. It's gonna make them have to find another way to discard. Mm, and I'm gonna go ahead and play the Bankbuster. Wedding announcement. 
guess I don't have a good answer for that currently. I mean, Invoke Despair, maybe next turn. Alright. That's the one downside of the Demir deck, is we don't have a lot of exile effects for enchantments. Ooh, a second one. We also only have two negates. All right. Uh, we have a Xander's down, so I'm going to drop the Xander's. Oh, but we do have a lot of other lands. Maybe I don't need this many. All right. Because I can cycle these later. I might end up doing that, to be honest. That is a lot of 1-1s. One um, should I sweep here? Maybe I should. I'm going to make two more next turn, but... If I don't do this, they draw two cards, which I don't really want. Maybe I draw first, just to see if I get anything. Makes me change my mind. No, not really. Okay. So they're up to six. Still not playing anything. I think I'm going to... Definitely want to cut down one of these. So they don't get the draw. So I can maybe do that. Thinking if I want a Celestis or play a Tapland. I think I'll Celestis. Oh, I could have done. Actually, I could have done both. I forgot that <clears throat> Celestis is on tap. I don't know why I was thinking it was tap mana, but all right, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'll kill one of these. Maybe I can wait till end of turn in case they have like a Wandering Emperor. Okay, they do have a Wandering Emperor. Does that change how I want to handle this? I mean, do I want to try to negate something? Uh, maybe. Alright, let's see. Alright. No negate, but it did get to cut down, so that is useful. I assume they're going to make another creature. Yeah, alright. It's a 3-3, three, three, so I can't kill that. Are they going to buff something, or are they going to make another token? Okay, no buffs. I have to kill two of these, though. Does that make it worth? Just to stop their draw? I mean, I guess I have to kill them eventually anyway. Uh, this might not be worth. Kind of regretting doing it. So they didn't get any draws off it, so I guess that's the upside. Uh, yeah, we can take this draw. Shipwreck Marsh. Another Shipwreck Marsh, okay. Uh, there's not anything to bring back here, so I guess I'm just getting rid of this Wandering Emperor. Maybe I'm going to cycle 
like the Xander's Lounge. <clears throat> negate? Okay, negate is something. So we can hold that up. And I suppose the Bank Buster is going to play defense. Hmm, they still swung in though. Maybe that means they have their, another Wandering Emperor. Maybe they just don't care. Okay, I ganjo. I see. Hmm. If I cycle this and lose my treasure. Yeah, maybe. All right, drag to the bottom. Uh, we survive with that. I guess the other Rafine's Tower... I mean, do I need it? Maybe I don't need it. This is already doing minus four, minus four. What if they have another Wandering Emperor, though? All right. I guess I'll play it just to play around that. Okay, they didn't have it. Uh, and I kind of want to hold this negate because I assume they have... Well, we haven't seen anything, but I thought they might have the portal to Phyrexia in this deck. But yeah, we haven't seen it yet. Okay, play another Bankbuster here. It's going to flip the Celestis. We'll, uh, I suppose we'll discard this card. Could also just draw and see. Okay, so we'll discard the Celestis. Alright, that worked out. <clears throat> we still have our negate. Uh, though we don't have any creatures for them to reanimate, and it doesn't really seem like they have creatures to reanimate. Creatures, graveyard, artifacts. Oh, do I care about this? Creature Spirit Artifacts. Suppose I don't really care. Maybe I just keep this mana. I mean, I do lose my source of life gain. So there is that. But other than that, I don't care. Hmm, Takanuma. Uh, we could draw like a, a nice five here, maybe. Uh, four and... I guess five. Alright, so let's draw five. Get a nice full hand. We still have up our negate. Yeah, we can even cycle this if we want to. All right. Sunset Revelry. Uh, I guess they just draw a card from that. All right, cycle. Finally got her to fairy, which is nice. Oh, and cut down. So the land is actually gonna be a four four. So that's a little bit scary. And is a 4-4. Four, four. We can grow this to parry. And the token. With the uh, silver scrutiny. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over my cold a little bit. Um, Alright. So let's see if they swing this in. Because we can kill this. Though they might have some answer. All 
Okay, no answer. We got it. Sweet. So that's the that is the power of the Demir deck. It uh, once you get the Teferi down and it doesn't die immediately, then you kind of just win at that point. Oh yeah, sweet. On to the next game. Okay, so this hand looks pretty good. We have our lands. We have a sweeper, a draw, and a Teferi. I would say that's a pretty good hand overall. So let's keep it. Mmm, looking like mono red. Okay. I think we have a decent shot against this. Especially with that draw. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Phoenix Chick. Another Kumano. Okay. Alright, it's gonna be rough. Uh, let's see what they drop on three. We can kill one thing this turn and then sweep the board the next turn. Another Phoenix Chick. Hmm. We could alternatively take at least six here, which doesn't sound particularly nice. However, we will get to sweep. That makes me, us have a guaranteed eight. I think that's just too much, so... Um, let's get rid of the Kumano, I guess, because these two can both come back. Like, it's not ideal to sweep here, but if I don't sweep, I'm taking another 4 damage. I think they're going to lightning bolt my face. I don't even have a good alternative play. Like, I guess I could indulge and try to find a removal. I think I have to sweep here. I have a lot of other sweepers in the deck. So it's not like that unlikely for me to find something. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Very tough call. But I, I think I'm just going to be dying too quickly if I don't sweep. Because I'm probably at an effective 9. Minus... Yeah, okay. So I'm at least at 10. And then 8 after this turn. Okay, 7. Like, idealistically, I would get... Um... Something to deal with this, but... So my choices are, like, Celestis plus draw? Or just draw and do nothing? I'm taking another three, at least. Man, isn't that too risky? What does the Celestis really do for me, though? Alright, I think we gotta draw. Okay, cut down. That's big. Uh, let's... I'm gonna discard the Underground, because it's gonna hurt me to use. I'd rather play the Odawara. I think. So maybe the scrutiny is too slow. Okay, we're running out of time, so... Let's just go, and then I'll blow up this um, Kumano, probably.
Oh, wow. That's exact lethal? Okay, dang. Uh, wow. So even, even playing as tight as I did wasn't enough. Uh, <laughs> they still burned me out, so that feels pretty bad. But okay, uh, yeah, on to the next game. Mono Red is gonna smork you, that's Mono, mono Red. Okay, we go first, we have a cut down, we have lots of tainted indulgences. Uh, I'm keeping this one, I got a sweeper as well. This is a respectable hand, I think this is a hand that can beat Mono Red. Um, unlike that last hand. This one can, and the last hand seemed good to be honest, I think Mono Red just had too good of a draw. Uh, so even though we had like pretty good draw ourselves, their, their draw was just too much. Okay, it seems again like Mono Red, but I guess I could be wrong. Fortunately, on turn two, we kind of need to draw. Try to get our land. Um, okay. We can do that on our turn. We can kill that on our turn, so I'm gonna draw here. Okay, we did get a land. Uh, we also got a Celestis, which is nice. I'm gonna drop off a Teferi. Got three of them, so I think it's fine. And I think I better kill this on my turn so that they don't get any pings off of it. And we can s sweep if they load the board up or something like that. But I'm pretty happy with this so far. I guess we did go first as well, so there is that. Hmm, we could draw two from the scrutiny. I think that's good. Let's draw two and see if we can get our land. We did, nice, nice. Hmm, our drag is only a one tick now, but maybe that's fine. Uh, we can invoke next turn. Now, Invoke is pretty key against this red deck, uh, as much as it doesn't seem like it, because, like, right now I can kill the creature and this enchantment. And we do take one. So that is pretty nice. Oh, they didn't have anything to cast there. That's kind of weird. Alright, we got another Sweeper. What do they have if they don't... Oh, maybe this is the Jaya version of the deck or something? Uh, is it worth killing these 1-1s? One I almost can... If I had one more mana, I would play the Teferi for sure. Maybe I'll draw for a land. Although if I pass, no, I guess I can. There's no way I can pass here. Uh, yeah, let's try to get a land. No land. Hmm, is there a reason I need the soul transfer against red? I don't think so. So we can drop that off. Keep the sweepers. And can I afford to take two damage here? Or should I just sweep? I guess there's a chance that they might play uh, another enchantment here. So I'm going to hold up the negate or the draw. I mean, they could even lightning bolt for all I know. And then I'll just sweep next turn. Okay, they probably have lightning bolts. So they're gonna use them when I draw. No? Okay. Uh, sure, I'll cycle. Ah, oh, man. 
I don't want to discard a second Teferi, do I? Or maybe it's okay. I kind of want to use the sweeper here. Gosh. They haven't had anything. I'm going to get rid of one of these sweepers. And I kind of want to play Teferi and hold up the negate and make a creature. Because there's also, I also have the ability to draw and make this bigger. The duel doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. Nobody knows the past better than me. So, unless they, like, get some removal all of a sudden they didn't have before, then I think that's kind of... This is kind of good. Swift Spear. Hmm. One damage to each creature and planeswalker. Just one, though. And I will get to sweep this board. Okay. Oh, this era is more dangerous than I thought. Well, they have a second one. <clears throat> okay. I think I can just draw here. Which effectively kind of negates this spell. Relax. I, mean, I do take one damage. Since I'm gonna sweep anyway, I, I'll just chump block the swift spear. Yeah. There's no reason not to, I don't think. Okay, so I'll take two here. I lose the Teferi. Uh, I clear their board and gain a life. It hurts. Okay. Seems pretty good. I think we got it in lockdown here. We can even play the Teferi again. Don't feel bad okay. Quite a nice! We got it. We got it. Okay, so you can beat red. You just gotta have a decent draw. Uh, or at least have a better draw than the red has. Uh, so it's just better if... Who's got the better draw, I guess. Um, but yeah, awesome. Uh, so I think maybe we'll wrap up the video here today. Uh, the deck is still fun. I really like it, even if it has some ups and downs once in a while, but let's talk about it in the post game wrap up. All right. Well, that is it for the games for today. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, the deck did okay. So it, it still was positive win rate. Um, I think it was about three and two overall. Um, I, I included three of the games in the video, but yeah, about three and two, so about 66% win rate, 67% win rate most of the time. Um, and that matches with what my untapped GG stats are. I've been playing this deck off, um, offline a little bit too, and it was about a 67% win rate overall. So, um, the deck is still good, good enough to, to climb you up the ladder, uh, but it does definitely struggle every once in a while against you know, being on the draw when the other person's on the play or the other person having a really good draw. Um, and sometimes you feel like there's not a whole lot of counterplay. Um, I think like having the, the one mana removal is pretty important in the format if you're facing aggro. And then, you know, if you get the other matchup where you're against mono black and you don't really even need the cutdowns. Uh, I mean, they're not bad, but they're not 
always useful. So there's a big trade-off. Um, I think some of the cards are very solid. Like Teferi is very good, Invoke's very good, the drag to the bottom is very good. Uh, even having these like one of cards have been very useful a lot of the times. And negates, I like it's so bipolar for me because the aggro decks have almost no spells. Uh, um, and you or you like almost wish you didn't have the negates in there, but then every once in a while they're just so clutch that you you have to have them, especially against invoke despair. Like if you're facing mono black and you don't get a negate, that can that can break the game for you. So uh, it's very tough. It's very tough. Some games I wish I had like four, and some games I wish I had none. So I guess two is still the right call. But let me know what you think in the comments, like if you've been trying out this deck or something similar. Give me your lists, share me your lists. I want to see like what changes, what adaptations you guys are doing. Because uh, I really love Demir, uh, I really love Control, and I know we're at the end of the format, so I could just play the meta decks, of course, but uh, really want to just grind out the last season with Control and, and get there. So. Yeah, let me know what you're playing and what's working for you. And uh hope you can still have some fun even in the last month. But if not, you only got a month left to wait until the next cards come out. And yeah, so have fun. That's the most important thing. So until next time, see ya.